welcome back to Bake Bites, I'm Maria and today I'm going to show you how to whip up this retro inspired Pac-Man cake. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on cakes like this or any of our other sweet goodies. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get decorating. I'm starting off with pre-baked cakes that were baked in the Wilton sports pan. I lined up my cakes so I could shave off the lip of cake that formed during baking using a small serrated knife for more control. Once that's done, ganache the two ball halves separately, then pop them in the fridge to chill for 15 minutes. Now let's cut out Pac-Man's mouth. Pop the cakes together and mark out your mouth angle. Start small first, then gradually make it larger. Now let's pop it in the fridge for 15 minutes to firm up. Apply a second layer of ganache. This time, make sure you cover the mouth that was just cut out. Smooth it out as best you can using your spatula. Pop it in the fridge again to chill. Now here's a tip. Heat your spatula with hot water. Dry it off, then use it to smooth down the ganache to create a nice smooth coating. Fold some baking paper, then place it onto Pac-Man's mouth. And cut around the shape so we can use this as a template when cutting our black fondant later. It's time to roll out your fondant. I'm using yellow fondant and rolled it out using some cornstarch. Here's another tip. If you have air pockets forming your fondant, use a needle to pop out the air. It works a treat. Using your rolling pin, Pick up your fondant and cover your cake, like you see here. And with your hands, gently attach the fondant to your cake. Once it's all smooth, cut out Pac-Man's mouth. Now, put the cake aside and let's create some details. Using a 5cm cookie cutter, cut two circles out of black fondant, then cut out Pac-Man's mouth shape. These will form his eyes. We are almost done and it's looking fabulous. With a heart shaped cookie cutter, roll out red fondant and cut out a medium sized heart, then cut off the bottom part to create Pac-Man's tongue. To finish this cake off, I rolled out five white fondant balls and dotted them around the board. This cake is Pac-tastic. And there you have it guys, my 3D Pac-Man cake, perfect for any lover of the classic 80s arcade game. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next, and until then, I'll catch you next time. See ya!